Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little crazy because it's gonna be a whole bunch of things in one. I'm also so, gonna show um, you my start favorites, my some good tips that I have that I've been using that I feel like you guys need to know. And also uh, newbies, I'm gonna show you a couple of products that I've bought in that I have not tried yet, so I wanna see bought in. I don't know if that's how you say it. A couple of products that I bought and I want to see um, how they are before I give a good review but I just wanted to share in case you guys have used it and maybe you guys can give me your 411 on it so yeah so anyways um, let's go ahead and jump into the video I hope you guys like it I hope you guys give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed hello why have you not subscribed I can't hear you so anyways please subscribe and comment and share and have a nice day <laughs> so the first thing that I want to share with you guys is these falsies look at them aren't they gorgeous they are from red cherry and oh my gosh they're so lightweight and they're like the bomb.com i don't really wear a lot of falsies but when i do <laughs> they have to be red cherry <laughs> i'm just really into them right now and all of my clients really love them they can go from dramatic to natural and it's just 100% human hair and I just really love them and they're really super inexpensive I think they were I want to say $1.50 when I got them because it was a little special going on but I think that the most expensive ones that I've seen is like two something so they're not too bad and they're really really nice and if you know how to take care of your lashes they will last you for a very long uh, time maybe I forgot what it was called I I primer I've been loving this NYX eye primer. It goes on clear, not clear, it goes on white and it's HD and it's a little long like this. And when you apply it, you know, you just put it all over your eye, but this makes your eyeshadow pop. You don't, usually when you want your eyeshadow to pop, you have to put some, a white base or white eyeshadow before you actually apply the color on so that it can pop. But with this, I don't have to do that. I can just apply it and the eyeshadows pop really nice and of course it makes your eyeshadow last all day long and it's from NYX and I believe it was I'm not sure but not more than seven dollars I will look it up and I will put it down in the description box so another bomb.com and moving on concealers I've been using these pro concealers I know that you guys have heard about this and maybe the lip gloss Pro too. concealers are really good um, they're super inexpensive too I think they're like two dollars and fifty cents for, for each lipsticks. and of course or lip glosses I also been using this Rimmel London show off and they come in so many different colors and they go on as glosses but then they go they turn into a little matte lipstick and they are super pigmented and all you really need is like one swipe of them and like you're set you don't actually have to keep on building up the color and um my clients love them too and i love them too so here i'm going to show you what the let me see what this is called it's like really hot pink it's called apocalyptic let me show you hopefully the camera can show you how good it is okay did you get it see it's super pigmented and like I said it has they have like thousands of colors that you can pick and I believe they're like $5.99 I've been using this NYX pore filler and I like it because once again I'm very oily so I go for anything that will not make me look any more oily than I already am so with this one it doesn't say if it's for dry or oily people but I asked the girl at, at Ulta and she told me that it's actually for oily people and that if you use it and you're a dry person that um, it can actually make your face drier. So if you're dry don't use it but if you're oily I recommend this because it is so I nice. I think this one was $13.99. But these things go a very long way. I know it looks really tiny, but it really goes a long way because you actually just, for pores, you actually have to just put it in your forehead and on your cheeks where the pores would be. Loving and it. that's it. And for this other one, you guys are gonna be like, what is that? <laughs> Do you guys have any clue of what this is? When I I received it as a gift, when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, what, what am I getting here? Looks like a huge Q-tip or you know something else but um 
yeah I'll tell you what it is this is for your facial hair and you're supposed to twist it one way and then twist the other way so when you have it and um, when you're using it you have to like do it going one way and going the other way and this is like a spring so it grabs your hair and then it pulls it so it's kind of like threading or plugging and I love it because you have you save money because you don't have to go to wax or or um, thread or anything and my friend got it at Amazon for like two dollars and something cents and I believe it's called a hair removal spring but I will leave the whole information on the description bar. But yeah, so if you guys are hurry in the face and you guys need to take it off and you guys don't want to, you know, spend too much time at the beauty salon or going all the way to freaking Fayville to do this or whatever, then you can do it at your own home for really little price. So yeah, I really recommend this. And now I'm going to go to jewelry. Because girl, what kind of girl does not like jewelry, right? So, First, I got the little bracelet at LS Boutique. I went to their one year anniversary. And let me tell you girls, they have so much cute stuff. If you have not been to LS Boutique, you guys definitely need to go. So I got this little bracelet on um, LC. I went to LS. Yes, but the letters they were gifted to me by a very special friend aka Thea <laughs> and um, her daughter aka my cousin <laughs> but um, yeah so I thought it was really cute I'm um, either you I'm gonna wear it as a bracelet of course and I guess maybe later on I'll switch it up to a necklace and of course an R is for my initials um, look I'm even wearing my shirt so I can you can know who I am but yeah so I really really like this and the little bracelet was I believe it was $2.99 and it's super super cute so you can even buy your own little charms and you know put them in there and customize it to your like so yeah and then another thing that I bought there at LS Boutique mm -hmm. this little bracelet OMG isn't it like the cutest thing ever but um, this one, she was selling it for $5.99 and if you are going to that Zumbathon in Spring Dot, the Civic Center on the 24th, on October 24th, um... I think she's going to be selling on there. I will ask her. Yeah, my day was just full. I think I think, huh? I should have gotten all my information before I started this. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> if you guys want to support the cause and you guys don't have your little ribbon, I think this is super cute. So, another one that I got at LS Boutique is but, um, this. Look at this ring. And it's like three in one because look. Voila. And I believe this one was $4.99. Not too bad. You can, you know, bam, bam. I mean, I'm not trying to say that you should fight people with it or anything, but, you know, it's pretty bomb. But okay. So yeah, $4.99. So I believe that is it for my favorites. So let's go to my, what else? To my newbies. Um, the first thing that I want to share with you guys is these um, under eye pads. Um, they're supposed to fight anti-aging and give you a tight skin. And, but um, yeah, it's supposed to just um, give you a nice glow and a youthful look. And it moisturizes. But uh, yeah, so I'm super excited about this stuff. It's supposed to have um, 24 karat gold. <laughs> Okay, it looks like this and they go under the eye you're supposed to wear them for 20 minutes and just relax and um, let them sit there and then whenever you take it off if you have any ex excess um, oil or lotion or whatever you can just tap it until it totally goes away and yeah I'm super excited so if anybody has used this kind of stuff let me know what your 411 is and let's share because sharing is caring and the other one is NYX eyebrow gel and this is supposed to be waterproof and I've heard so many good reviews about it um, I wonder if you guys have used any let me know how you like it because I'm all about waterproof too because one I'm oily the other one uh, I want waterproof stuff because it lasts longer so it's 
waterproof. So let's give it a chance. And the other one is, oh my gosh. Ta -da! Ah. Can you guys guess where I got this from? Oh, hell no. Let me clean this with Because I'm not about to stain my new wallet. My new cute little purse. My elegant little purse. My to-go purse. Anyway, okay. Okay, okay. Alright. This cute little purse I got at... You guessed it. LS Boutique. Um, you can wear it, you know, with a little chain on your shoulder um, you guys can't see it or you can actually hide the chain inside inside of this and wear it under your arm or but I really like this because it's gold and it pops and I really love it so I just think you know like putting it like this and then put it under your arm oh, you guys can't really see here there. putting it under your arm and the little chain looks so freaking cute that way you know so I really like it it was $30 but it was worth it because it just feels so fancy and it looks so fancy so like I said girls you guys need to go to Ella's boutique and get you some so yeah so those were my newbies like I said I only have three so let's go on to the tips the beauty tips probably the tips that I'm gonna give you today you might already know but um, I want to share them with the people that don't know and um, so yeah so OMG I totally forgot to show you guys this ring isn't it the bomb.com it's not I mean it is <laughs> but I'm saying I don't want to use bomb.com anymore okay anyways um, I love this ring it's from Ella's boutique one of my favorites too but I totally forgot about it because I'm wearing it okay anyways so the first tip that I want to show you guys is this one where you use your mascara and your eye drops so if you have a favorite mascara that you feel like it's going dry way too quick or that you just love it so much that you just wish it lasted a little bit longer guess what you can make it last a little bit longer um, just add four to five drops into your mascara of course you open it and you just put them in there put your little wand move it in there you know close it up let it sit there and voila you have more mascara for a longer tip time number one okay tip number two is if you okay for okay this one's gonna scare people because it does look a little scary but, but trust me i've been doing it ever since my mother let me wear makeup and nothing has happened so I don't want to guarantee it, but <laughs> it hasn't happened to me. And to the people that I have told them have done it, it hasn't happened to them either. It's just that, you know, do it right. So, okay. The other one, it has to do with the eyelash curler and the lighter. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably do this. But all you do is just heat up one side, then the other. And I do this. And then I touch it with my hand. It go like this. And when it's not too hot, then I place it in my eye and my eyelashes and curl them. That makes your eyelashes curl like this. Can you see, girlfriend? Mm-hmm. It makes them curly, like super curl. Like instead of sitting there and doing it over and over and over again, you can actually get them so curled just by doing that. Okay, girls. Next One tip time. is um, after you do your highlighting, your concealer, always set it with a translucent powder. Just you know get a little bit and then pat it under your eye and that will help you with the creasing and the mascara smudging so now you know and let's see what's the other one okay moisturize your lips so before when you're starting to apply your makeup and do your hair and everything go ahead and moisturize your lips and leave it on until it's time for you to apply your lip gloss or your lipstick and this will help you so that your lips don't look all dry and cracked up so and for the other one it's going to be i don't have any okay i'll use this one <laughs> um bobby pin and hairspray 
spray the bobby pin before you actually put it into your hair and this whenever you put bobby pins sometimes they start sliding or or they won't stay where you actually put them so that's one little trick that you can do you can just go ahead like i said spray the bobby pin and then go ahead and place it wherever you want to or like me today i teased my hair from the back to make it all big because um you guys know i like big hair so like i used a bobby pin and in the back right here where i pinned it i teased that part and so now that bobby pin so is those are my tips there, so i don't think i'm missing any let me see let me see okay i think those are my it. tips so, my newbies and my favorites so thank you for watching once again and if you guys want to request any kind of video go ahead and request it i'll do my best to give you the bestest video so yes i hope you guys have an awesome day thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and until next time thank you Mwah.